So Warner Brothers is having emergency Aquaman 2 meetings behind the scenes, talking about scrubbing that certain Aquaman starlet completely out of the movie. And the amazing thing is that even the media is talking about this stuff. They're talking about how she wasn't wanted in this movie at all. Why? Because her agent ended up taking the stand. They admitted to this and they said that the reason that they didn't want her back, it was because of a lack of chemistry with Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa, essentially, he was like, yeah, I don't want to work with her again. Please don't have this happen. Now, amazingly, her agent lied repeatedly on the stand, too. I mean, she lied about how well the movie did. She lied about how well-received that certain Aquaman starlet's acting was. But more importantly, she lied about the studio reaction, saying the studio, they never directly said anything about JD being the reason or not the reason that this happened, but you knew it had to be the reason. Why? Because, quote, no one would want to hire someone who has bad press. No one wants that association. Yeah, Warner Brothers themselves went on record saying that that, that wasn't true, by the way. JD was not the reason all of this transpired. The agent knew about this too. They essentially said the agent, they perjured themselves on the stand. Yep, there's a lot of panic going on right now. Panic on that certain Aquaman starlet side, panic on her agent side, but more importantly, panic on the Warner Brothers side. Why? Because they're seeing petitions that are calling for the removal of that certain Aquaman starlet reach heights they have never before dreamed possible. 4.3 million people have spoke out and counting. You and I, we're going to talk about those emergency meetings. We're going to talk about where this movie stands right now and the admissions and everything. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. So hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And as we're talking about that certain Aquaman starlet being scrubbed completely from Aquaman 2, you need to understand something. She made a promise before all of this stuff transpired that she would not bring up Warner Brothers, the Aquaman franchise, Aquaman 2 or her co-stars in the courtroom, she explicitly told Warner Brothers executives she would not go that route. Well, lo and behold, she brings her agent into this. You have the media talking about it as well. And listen to how this is being reported. This kind of stuff right here. Yeah, this doesn't make people behind the scenes panic. This makes them panic and it makes them angry. Quote, Warner Brothers cited that certain Aquaman starlet's lack of chemistry with Aquaman 2 co-star Jason Momoa as a reason for possibly recasting her role. Her agent testified on Thursday during the J.D defamation trial. In a pre-recorded deposition, her agent testified that A.H.'s career before and after her split from J.D., sharing her belief that Warner Brothers wanted to replace A.H.'s Mira, admits the flurry of bad press pertaining to the split. Instead, the agent testified that the studio cited her lack of chemistry with Ramoa as the reason they were considering recasting her. Now, the media say that Warner Brothers hasn't commented on this at all, but they have. They commented, first of all, publicly. You can see it through the actions that they use. Here, this is Warner Brothers Entertainment's Instagram. Notice something right off the bat, by the way. You have Jason Momoa still followed here. If you go down the list, I find something else interesting, too. They have people they've had controversy with, like Ray Fisher, not commenting on the controversy, just saying, that guy, he still followed. Heck, even Scooby-Doo is followed here. But guess who's not followed anymore? That certain Aquaman starlet. They dropped her like a bad habit. Even more telling than that, though, is the fact that Warner Brothers, they went on a record with the court. They filed something about this because they didn't want to be dragged into the courtroom. They said, basically, that that agent, they lied about this, too. They knew that they were lying about it. I mean, listen to what they have to say here. That certain Aquaman starlet was cast in the film Aquaman and its sequel, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, a.k.a. Aquaman 2, and was paid 
for the services on both films per the terms of her contract. She did not suffer any adverse employment action by Warner Brothers in connection with either Aquaman or Aquaman 2 because of any of the allegedly defamatory statements by J.D. or his lawyer, Adam Waldman, that are alleged in the counterclaim. Her compensation for Aquaman or Aquaman 2 was not reduced because of the counterclaim statements. That, that directly refutes what her agent was saying. Any alleged delay in picking up her option for Aquaman 2 was due to creative issues in casting her in the role of Mira for Aquaman 2, which were communicated to her agent at the time. So again, they know why this happened. She mentioned that in the courtroom too, but she decided that vendetta, well, that's more important than telling the truth. So she decided to about face, even though, again, they did ultimately pick her up for Aquaman 2, despite all of these issues. Any alleged delay in Warner Brothers picking up her option for Aquaman 2, and that it went down to the last two weeks, by the way, was not due to her dispute with JD or to any of the allegations in this lawsuit, specifically including the counterclaim statement, and most importantly here, Warner Brothers would not have paid her more money, Aquaman 2, even if she had more time to attempt to renegotiate her contract. Now, those statements on the record, they are something. But behind the scenes, oh, the statements, they have been much louder. That certain Aquaman starlet, they are not happy about it either. They do not like ultimatums. They do not like being told what to do. And you could see proof of that from their behavior on Instagram, which would have further infuriated Warner. I mean, if you look at this here, look at the top follow. You have Jason Momoa. He has been recently re-followed. You also have the Aquaman movie. That was recently re-followed. The reason for that is because she decided to drop them after basically being told, yeah, you're out. You're out totally. We don't want anything more to do with this. You broke your word to us. When she unfollowed them, people like myself, we noticed that. We talked about it on this channel. And when we started talking about it in the middle of a live stream, she tried to course correct. She tried to follow them again, but too little too late. And when they noticed this stuff, when they noticed that behavior, when they noticed the bad headlines, they don't want to put up with it anymore. They shouldn't have from the beginning. Beginning, honestly, they decided they were going to go after millions of people, tell them their voices don't matter. Yeah, now they've dug a hole. They're trying to basically fill it back in and quickly. I say it's probably too little too late there. I'm not going to pay my money for the movie, but I do find it fascinating that we had the media picking it up, her agent admitting to what happened, and Warner Brothers admitting to it as well. They're going to cut her out of this movie totally, it looks like, though. Crazy stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You want to check out, help out the channel. There are links in the description. You being here, though, that is the best remedy of all. So thank you. Appreciate you. Going to end here. See you soon.